And what's going on, you guys? It's be your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about nothing but hot topics, celebrity gossip, and all things reality TV. And today's topic is about nothing but reality TV. But before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform at this particular point. Tonight is the night for Boys Night Out. We've been gone for three weeks, and now we're back. Okay, Boys Night Out will be airing tonight right here on Scotty by Nature TV at nine fifteen Eastern Time. Maddie Rance will not be in attendance tonight because he has other things going on, but we will be back in two weeks for another show. But however, tonight, um, Chasing Dallas star King King Kane will be a part of tonight's episode of Boys Night Out. So be sure to tune in. Tomorrow is Young, Fresh, and New, and it will be featuring Bubs the God tomorrow morning at 11.15 Central, 12 p.m. 12 15 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 11 15 Central Time, 12 p.m. 12 15 p.m. Eastern Time, where myself and Bubs the God will be discussing his YouTube platform as well as most things that's going on in his life and the things that he intends on doing coming up on his platform. So be on the lookout for that. And on Sunday morning, also, is Who Was Wrong featuring Miss Nisi Dixon. We will be talking about the beef between Nene Leakes and Cynthia Bailey. So be on the lookout for that. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's mess, y'all, all right? Now, today we'll be talking about the Bravo reality TV series, Candy and the Gang. Now, as you guys already know, I reviewed Candy and the Gang earlier this year when it was out, and I also had a whole panel called Roaster Review talking about Candy and the Gang, and you know that Candy and her team sent me some things, you know, thanking me for reviewing the show, all kinds of things. So, shout out to Candy Birds and Don One for that. I will be all I will always be grateful and I will always appreciate them for what they did for me. However, um it's been revealed by Candy that the show has been canceled after the first season, okay? And she feels like the show deserves a second season. Now, this is coming from realityblurb.com um, and this is what Candy had what well, this is what the article says. Now, we already know that the whole reason why we're here is to talk about the fact that the Candy Bird spinoff, Candy and the Gang, has been canceled after just one season. As she and her castmates remain hard at work on the upcoming 15th season of The Housewives of Atlanta, Candy has confirmed the cancellation of her former series. The series followed the staff at her, uh, at her restaurant, The Old Lady Gang, which she co-owns with her husband, Todd Tucker. She said, honestly, I'm not ready to give any statement. I really haven't put my thoughts into words. I have not written a statement. Candy told Love B. Scott on November 17th. According to the outlet, sources claimed in September that Bravo wouldn't be renewing Candy in the game due to low interest and disappointing ratings. All I can say is that I really love our show, Candy and the Gang, and everyone in it, Candy continued. I feel like it deserves a second season, and people ask me about the show every day. There will be a lot of disappointed fans. I'm disappointed. Although Candy won't be filming a second season of Candy and the Gang, she remains as busy as always producing Broadway's The Piano Lesson with husband Todd Tucker and preparing for the up-and-coming premiere of a new spinoff. Back in May, shortly after Candy and the Gang premiered, Bravo announced that Candy would be starring in an executive producing an all-new series tentatively titled Escape SWV, which would begin airing this winter. The new series will feature Candy and her Escape bandmates, Latasha Scott Bivens, Tamika Tiny Harris, and Tamika Scott, as well as the ladies of SWV, um, Cheryl Coco Gamble, Tamara George, and Leanne Lily Lyons. In a description from the network, it was noted that the show will follow the verses performances of the groups and the journeys of the women who were navigating through different stages of their lives. Prior to Candy and the Gang Escape SWV, Candy started a number of other projects outside of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, including Candy Coated Nights, The Candy Factory, Candy's Wedding, Candy Ski Trip, and Escape Still Kicking It. So, y'all, that was the article from the reality blurb, okay? Now, not only did she um, talk about that on, not only did the reality blurb have that to bring to bring up, but, um, oh, wait a minute. Not only did the reality blurb have that to bring up, but also um, Candy was on an Amazon Live just yesterday, and that's when she pretty much confirmed that the show itself was coming to an end. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm getting my Bluetooth speaker ready so she can, uh, so I can play her confirming that the show is coming to an end. So at this point, here it is. Let's check it out. Well, Thomas asks, when will Candy and the gang return? Unfortunately, it is not returning. Bravo 
is not bringing it back. Mm, that's so sad, and I am super sad about it. Okay, I'm gonna move on now. Cause I don't even okay, and that was um the pre that was pretty much the gist of that of what she had to say. She didn't really want to speak on it for too long. She didn't really want to touch on it for too long, but she just let us all know that Candy and the gang was no longer the place to be where strangers become family. I'm gonna tell y'all just like, like this. I really did. It's very different. It was um a, a big exit from all of the heavy reality TV show drama that we see on all reality shows. Um, I definitely watched it because I love Candy and Todd. I also like the old lady gang, even though Mama Joyce tip taps on my last damn nerve. I still enjoy watching her on TV. And I already knew that if she was gonna be, if she was gonna have a reality show, we already had to have, you know, the um the aunties and Miss and Mama Joyce on the show. Um, but I did know that the ratings were not the best. They were very um lukewarm ratings. I mean, she could, I think her highest rated show was maybe about six hundred thousand viewers, maybe. And um, I know it debuted to very low views. It debuted to like 400,000 viewers. And that's a far cry from her other spinoffs. Now, now, one thing that I do want to say while I'm up here is that I see a lot of people who are probably candy haters as well. They're probably sitting up here where well, they're sitting up here and they're trying to make it seem like where every candy spinoff has been canceled after the first season. But what people don't realize is that every other candy spinoff was not a necessary spinoff. It was a special. Um Candy's wedding special did great numbers, okay? Very good numbers. I think it pulled up like 2 million viewers a week. Um, Candy's ski trip did great. That was also a three-part special. That pulled in like 1 to 2 million viewers every week. And then um, she also had the Candy Factory, which... Um, they did early on in her um, Bravo Bravo career. I didn't watch that show because I'm not interested in, in no American Idol-esque shows. I've been not being interested in that a long time ago. And then they tried to make Candy Cody nice a show, and I just felt like it just didn't work. I mean, that's the type of thing that should stay on the internet. I didn't think it needed to be a show. You know what I mean? And I don't think it was executed well either. But um, as far as that's concerned, all of those were pretty much specials. But this was an actual spinoff, and some of us really did get you know, very much so invested in the people that were on the show. Like, I enjoy watching Philip. Although Josiah swore up and down, I look like that man. I enjoy watching Philip. I enjoy watching Dumb Unique. I enjoy watching Torin. I enjoy looking at Brian. Like, it was a lot of promising people on the show. And I was really wondering how it was going to go. Because I also love watching Patrick, too. I also love, you know, looking at Patrick and his relationship with Safari. And on top of that, him and Safari have just broken up now. So that would have been a great storyline for the show. So I felt like the show had a whole lot of potential. And I know a lot of people are laughing at Candy because the show is, is canceled because, you know, they don't like her no way. But the fact remains this. If Kim Zosiak can get multiple seasons of Don't Be Tardy, for all these years, she got eight damn seasons and her ratings were, were much lower than Candy in the damn game. Then they could have given Candy more. Like, it, I feel like when you put a show out, sometimes shows are very much so slow burners. Sometimes it takes a while for a show to catch on. And I really feel like they could have given this a, another season and another try. That's just my personal opinion. If y'all can give Don't Be Tardy, Boring Ass, all them seasons, y'all could have given them the candy. But to each his own, it's not going to stop candy at all. Candy still got another spinoff with the Escape and SWV show. And I really feel like it's going to be a great show. And I cannot wait to review and talk about it. Hopefully, I can interview the ladies of the show, to be quite honest. But you know it is what it is. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and um, share my video, um, and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to click on the notification bell also so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down in the description box below. With that being said, you guys, your boy is out here. Until my next video, I will holler at you guys later. Bye, y'all. <laughs>
what's up guys it's your boy Tramel. i just wanted to say that i have a new project that's out it's called mixed feelings it's on all streaming platforms i would hope that you would go and check it out it's a really good feel of an album it's got everything you need and more it's got r b it's got a little bit of pop it's got a little bit of hip-hop it's everything that you need and more it's out all streaming platforms like i said please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you